Love Talk Radio. Put the paperwork in. You don't want to put the paperwork in, which 
situation all the time, then you, you know you know you ain't gonna get no relief. And they say you don't have no merits. So basically, uh, um, I'm talking today is like almost education, educating you about you know your civil rights. So you got two different types of of issues that they do in court. You know, you got civil division, and then you got criminal division. And, you know, letting you know both of them are different. Uh, you might lose in the criminal division, and in the civil division, you can win. It's a whole different type of laws. It's almost like uh, you get administrative remedy type things, it's administrative type stuff. Um, you know, because I can talk a little bit about it because, you know, I got per legal certificate in law. But uh, civil rights are the rights of individuals to receive equal treatment and to be free from unfair treatment or discrimination in a number of settings, including education, employment, housing, and more based on certain legally protected characteristics of your rights. And, um, well, some people know about the civil rights movement, you know what I'm saying? It refers to efforts towards achieving true equality for African Americans and all facets of society. But today, the term civil rights is also used to describe the advancement of equality for all people, regarding the race, sex, age, disability, nationality, religion, or certain other characteristics. But um, when civil rights were started, it's for to protect the individual right, you know, being treated equal and all this stuff, and, you know, equal treatment and stuff like that. But the African Americans were getting treated bad. So um, somebody stepped up to the plate, African Americans stepped to the plate and said, hold up, these guidelines are beneath this Civil Rights Act include us. See what I'm saying? And that's what helped start the Civil Rights Movement because they saw a title of that statute fit them, and they used that. And, um, and that's how the Civil Rights Movement and Martin Luther King and all of them got together. And um, we're not really getting 100% of our civil rights today. You know what I'm saying? And we're only getting portions instead of 100% because we still get discriminated against because really nothing wasn't done when Trey Maul Martin got killed. Nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? Um, another thing, uh, going into the civil rights thing, uh, where do the civil rights come from? Now, a lot of people, you know, that's not in law, but some people might be listening that might be in law. Uh, people, if you want to listen or call in, number 646 Eighty-two ninety-seven. Now, civil rights this way it comes from. See, most laws guarantee and regulating civil rights originated at the federal level, either through the federal legislation or through federal court decisions, such as those handed down by the United States Supreme Court. But the states also pass their own civil rights laws. You know, usually very uh, similar to those at the federal level in um, cities and the counties. They can enact their own ordinance and laws, you know, related to the um, civil rights for their um, people and everything. You know, and that the, um, also, um, now you know that the civil rights movement started at a federal level. So when Martin Luther King and all of them were doing their marches, talking about the civil rights movement, it was really a, a federal you know what I'm saying? Getting the, the, federal, the, the government involved, saying their rights being violated by the local laws and everything. Because the federal government was oversee the state government, and that's what they did. They went on to a federal level. But a lot of people saw Martin Luther King out there doing what he was doing, but didn't know that he was getting the, the federal to enact to get in there, making sure they get their rights. Okay, um, now another thing I want to speak about, like, you know, civil rights versus your civil liberties. See, liberties, you know, well, um, dealing with um, being 
equal treatment, don't be discriminated against, and, you know, you have some type of uh, uh, liberty interest and a whole lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying? And you have to know, well, you know what that is. So this is like, this is kind of almost like the difference of it. Like civil rights are different from the civil liberties, and the concept of civil rights has evolved around the basic right to be free from unequal treatment based on certain protected characteristics like race, gender, disability, etc. While civil liberties are more broad-based rights and freedoms are guaranteed at the federal level by the Constitution and other federal laws. Now, say if your civil rights are violated, you're supposed to file a civil rights complaint. Some of them you can file it all the way up there to Washington, D.C., or you can file your civil rights on local level because in each um, state they have local offices. Now, when you file it, if you need to know that you got legitimate claim, the thing you will do will have contact a civil rights attorney and everything. So getting a lawyer help if you believe you have suffered a civil rights violation, and the best place to start is to speak with an experienced civil rights attorney. Important decision related to your case can be complicated, including which laws apply to your situation, who is responsible for any harm you suffer. And then a civil rights attorney will evaluate all aspects of your case and explain all options available to you in order to assure the best possible outcome for your case. So you always got to contact a qualified civil rights attorney to help you, you know, um, to protect your rights. And another thing that I'm going to bring up, um, like where do your civil rights come from? Um, but I'm going to hit this um, female song that she sent this um, song to me. And uh, it's called Dope Man. She getting a uh, shout out to all the dope men. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm playing the song because the way her creativity is, you know, how she really made and produced her own music. About a team. Yeah, you know, back in the day, the dope man stayed giving the kids money. $50 just to run in the store, get juices. Shout out to all the dope men out there. Who want love for the dope man? That's the kid kept doing my hand. Niggas he used to run with all up in the face She ain't even got a fucking conversation Made him pay Mama laughing Had these young bitches today For your life, bill money Give your pussy away, pussy away. Who a rich love for the dope man Says the kid kept on my hand Brought candy, chips and juice Pay mama bills, she loved him too He gave her money, bought my clothes for school No struggle Apartments and life without the dope man made my heart hard and I hated the system they took him from me all he did was take a single woman five kids off the street showed us a good life for a hot second went from silver to plastic spoon to hot to cold breath she worked to survive no time to cook system so the kids dream who's really the crook who's really the crook love for the dope man that the kid kept on my hand
Shout out to Senator, uh, Senator T- Tina, a uh, dope man. Now, I'm like this, man. You know, I'm getting a lot of female artists now sending me uh, their music so I can play on my uh, radio show. And I appreciate that, you know what I'm saying, because, um, you know, females, you know, they hold their own, too, when, they, when they're doing their own rap thing, creativity, and it's coming from their perspective. So, you know, I appreciate that, you know, uh, she's uh, doing her thing, and you can hit her up on um, on Google her. Oh, man, she all over the place, torn and everything. You know what I'm saying? She doing, she doing it. Uh, her first name is spelled. Is V A L E N T I N A. So, you know, and that title of that song called Dope Man. I'm the first one to ever play this. You know what I'm saying? She having carried it to the radios and nothing. I'm the first one to play it. So, if you hit on Google and, and hit on any of her sites that she on, just let them know you heard on DJ Black Radio. So, I guess she'll feel good, you know. That uh, got some African American fans and stuff listening. You know, the females getting down with the rap thing. Now, um, let me get back to this uh, topic when we were dealing with the civil rights thing. Uh, my question was, uh, where do civil rights come from? Okay, most laws prohibiting discrimination and many legal definitions of discriminatory acts originated at the federal level. To either, to, to either federal legislations such as the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the America, Americans with Disability Act of 1992 and then other federal acts uh, supplemented by our court decisions uh, dealing with prohibit uh, discrimination in uh, voting rights. Now, y- y'all seen a lot of that on TV and books and stuff like that. Uh, housing. Okay, extension of credit, public education, access to public facilities, you know, like in the civil rights movement, um, some of the African Americans were saying that it was white um, drinking fountain, and the other one had black drinking fountain, and stuff like that. Um, all federal court decisions, such as the United States Supreme Court case, Brown versus Board of Education, which it was a nationwide racial <clears throat> well, which was a nationwide racial dis, um, segregation of public schools. Other Supreme Court cases have shaped the definition of the civil rights violation, like uh, sexual harassment, they included that, and then affirmative action, uh, what um, Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton and all them um, black caucus and all of them got together doing that affirmative action and stuff. Uh, Civil Rights Act 1964, the federal law making employment discrimination unlawful. And if you feel that your civil rights were violated, consult a civil rights attorney and tell him your complaint. And, you know, you can you can get on um, the Internet and Google uh, to a civil rights attorney and you put, put in your um, city or state and start talking to them, you know. I'm saying civil rights include all of that, what I just said, you know. Voting rights all the way down to employment. If you get discriminated in your employment, you might have a civil rights suit. Oh, civil rights suit, people get paid, you know. Um, you get award money or whatever, whatever the judge decide on, you know, what you what you um, be able to get awarded. Now, also, civil rights also protect people with disability. Now, the file of civil rights saying that somebody discriminates you because of your disability, your employment, or whatever, or housing, or whatever, is you, when you file it, you got to file it under the Americans with Disability Act, the 1992 Act, when you file it. You know, uh, I hope I help a lot of people out today, you know what I'm saying, the way that uh, I'm getting y'all some Jews, you know what I'm saying, y'all could be able to meditate on Know, dealing with the issue of civil rights, and um, and um, Trayvon Martin, you know, I feel his rights was 
was violated, but it won't hold up in court if you don't know how to argue it right. You know what I'm saying? Just can't file something on the civil rights thing. You know, when we file, you know, it's like uh, you got to break it down exactly to exactly what it is. You know, you know, like they say, race, sex, age, disability, national origin, religion, or certain other characteristics. Now he can't go and then say race, so he said, okay, he got killed because he was African American. He got to he got to prove that in court, and that's how they got them court system real narrow for certain things that you be able to file on, unless you find the cases. You know, you find the cases back you up, then you can have your argument, but not just going in there just one little issue. You got to have a lot of stuff backing you up. You know, case law and everything. You know, for the judge to be able to hear, consider so that you got it in your merits, because it's more than just a complaint alone. Um, yeah, I'm getting ready to hit my um, song, uh, DJ Black. Um, I got my little single called "Kick the Bass." Uh, I just sent it uh, to the record pool people out there in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. The man showing me so uh, much love, Starfleet. Music record pool, and man, uh, like the what I do, you know, I'm running DJ Black Records and I'm running DJ Black Radio show. Man, showing me a lot of love. So if you got a song out, um, please send it to um, Starfleet uh, Music Record Pool out there in Charlotte, North Carolina, to uh, Mr. Matthews. Yeah, that's my main man. He's been a DJ for a long time. You know what I'm saying? He's been. Um, he was his uh, DJ back in the day, you know, a lot of, back in the 70s, DJ uh, Captain Kirk. <laughs> that, was, that was his DJ name back in the day. So um, I'm going to get ready to play my um, Kick the Bass song. Um, I'm going to get ready to start playing it in the clubs here and Gaffney too, you know. That's what I'm going to be doing uh, later on, getting the music out of so the give it to the DJ. Here goes my song, Kick the Bass.